What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and welcome to Versus, a new series where we take similar devices, compare them, and at the end of the video, we pick a winner. Today, we're going to be taking a look at pod systems. So you watched all the review videos on these four devices that we're gonna be taking a look at today and you're still unclear on which one you should choose for yourself. Well, today we're gonna be comparing and contrasting four devices that I've previously reviewed. I've got the Vape Forward Sync, I've got the Wizmec and My Vapors MyJet, I've got the My Von Earl, and last but not least, I've got the Jewel. So uh, with that, before I get started with this video, I do have to state my intent by saying that I did receive some of these devices for free and some of them I did pay for out of my own pocket, but with with that, all of my opinions about these devices will remain honest and unbiased, of course, as always. So this video will be heavily opinionated based on my experiences with these devices over the course of the past few months. Also, I wanted to point out the fact that I will be looking at them from the viewpoint of a smoker. So basically trying to gauge whether or not these are going to be good for current smokers. So if you're a smoker or you know someone that's smoking and wants to start vaping, this is a great place to start. So with that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at these devices in an up-close portion. All right, guys, so you have probably already seen my individual reviews for these devices, so I'm going to kind of skip over most of the details in this close-up section and mainly go after a size comparison. So let's just start it off with the Sync because it's the biggest one. Obviously, it probably has a good 10 millimeters over the jewel in height and a few millimeters in thickness as well. Um, so this is definitely the biggest overall. Uh, next up, we have the MyJet, which is actually probably close to a mil or two shorter than the Von Earl. However, it does have the squared off corner which adds a little bit of the bulk to it, uh, and it's a little bit boxier of, of a design. Uh, next, we have the Von Earl, which is uh, a little bit slimmer. It's almost comparable. It's right in between the MyJet and the Jewel as far as the thickness is concerned, and it also has these nice rounded edges as well. And finally, the Jewel. It's the smallest, it's the lightest, it's the thinnest. Overall, it's the boxiest out of all of them, I would say. It's definitely the most squared off at the corners, and um, yeah, but overall, it is still the smallest. So here you can see the respective charging ports of the Sync, MyJet, Von Earl, and Joule. And as you can see, the Sync and the Von Earl share the micro USB charging port. Uh, the MyJet and the Joule, however, have their own proprietary connections. So that is definitely something to take a look at there. And finally, I just wanted to give you a quick look at the mouthpieces. So we have the Sync here, the MyJet, the Von Earl and the Jewel. So uh, there we go. That's pretty much the size comparison for these four devices here. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what they look like in the hand. So let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on all these, and we'll talk about them some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's get into some of my opinions about these devices. I've broken these down into a few different categories, and we are going to pick a winner from each category, and then I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on all four of these devices and pick a clear winner. So with that, I've broken them down into battery life and capacity, pod capacity, flavor availability, and nick variety, and then we have the wild card, which is basically some special feature that really sets this particular device apart from the others, and then overall score we're going to pick a winner at the end of this video. All right, guys, so we're going to start it off with the worst in each category, moving up to the best, and we're going to start off today with battery life, and the worst contender for battery life is actually the Jewel. I hate to say this, but the Jewel ended up on the bottom of my list as far as battery capacity is concerned with a limited battery capacity of only 100 milliamp hours. That's pretty small in comparison to the other systems that are available, and I got to say I was a little bit surprised because I do get a fairly decent battery life out of my Jewel. Uh, however, I definitely seem to get a lot more with the other ones. Um, one thing to note with, about the Jewel battery is if you're planning on leaving it overnight, definitely plan on charging it in the morning because uh, the battery tends to lose charge fairly quickly when left on standby. So not sure if there's like a phantom battery drain or what's going on with mine, but for some reason I leave it out overnight and the thing is dead by the morning. But with that, moving on to number three, we have the MyJet with a battery capacity of 350 milliamps. It's actually almost tied with the Von Earl for third or second place, but uh, the one uh, you know detracting factor from this one here is the charger. The charger is a special uh, kind of charging cradle that it sits in. It is USB, but uh, it's not a universal like micro USB like some of the others, and that just kind of puts it right down there in third place. Uh, in second place is the Von Earl with another 350 milliamp hour capacity. 
However, it has a pretty much universal charging system. You can use any micro USB uh, laying around that you might have. Honestly, phone chargers work, and that is gonna be great in a pinch because most people carry around a phone charger or are you know no more than like 10 feet away from a micro USB at all times. But with that brings it up to number one, we have the Sync by Vape Forward. Uh, it has either a 200 or 380 milliamp hour capacity. There's two different models to choose from in the stick type batteries. That's the ones we're gonna be comparing today. Uh, leaving the Stealth out of this because it's a slightly more box kind of module. Uh, the options that are available on the table right now are 200 and 380 milliamps, which are pretty decent. I have the 380 milliamp version here, and this thing lasts me days. I'm telling you, I could probably get about a day and a half to two days use out of this thing before I have to charge it. Now, that's not puffing on it constantly. That's just kind of picking it up and using it for a few puffs and then putting it back down and then going back to my normal rotation of mods. But still, I really feel like that's going to last you guys all day long if you are the all day vapor. All right guys, so moving on to our next category, we have pod capacity. Now, I wanted to take subjectivity off the table when it comes to this category here. Just simply by looking at the numbers, we have our number four slot, which is once again, the Jewel. Unfortunately, the Jewel comes in last with a 0.9 milliliter capacity pod. And that there's kind of a reason for that. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, if you're looking strictly at the numbers, the Jewel definitely has the smallest pod. Our next one, number three, we have the MyJet. 1.2 mil pods and these are kind of interesting because they are refillable so you could bring with you a unicorn bottle or something like that and refill your pods on the go but I just feel like not a lot of people are going to want to refill a pod system when they're out and about and doing their daily routine so that's kind of why it comes up in the number three slot. Uh, coming in at number two we have the Von Earl with a 1.6 milliliter pod and that just barely edges out the Sinks 1.5 mil version uh, just by 0.1 mil. And if you're looking at that, then I would say the Von Earl would take over the number one slot. However, the sink is coming in at number one, and that is because they have a two and a half mil juice capacity pod available. So if you're just looking at the two and a half mil pods, then obviously the sink is the clear winner here with over the uh, a, over a double capacity of a jewel pod. And I got to say, um, it's definitely noticeable on the top of this thing. It is a lot larger, as you saw in the close-ups there, but uh, that is definitely the clear winner in this category category. Moving right along, we have the flavor availability and Nick strength variety. So this is kind of an interesting category just because there's a few curveballs thrown in the mix here. And uh, you're gonna be kind of interested in what I have to say with this one. Uh, so coming in at fourth place, we have the MyJet with basically an infinite number of flavor and Nick strength combinations. And the reason I put this in number four is because I'm looking at this again as a smoker. Coming in, they want to just kind of pick up something off a shelf or off of a list and be able to just kind of put it together and vape it. Now, the MyJet uh, Express Kit doesn't come with pre-filled pods. If you get the Ultra Kit or the uh, Ultimate Kit, that does come with a few pods. However, I have not tried them. I don't know what they're like. I don't know how the quality of the uh, e-liquid is or anything like that. So really can't give you guys too much insight as far as that's concerned. But I just feel like uh, as far as the MyJet's concerned, it's going to be mostly used as an open system. That's kind of why it ends up at the number four spot here. Coming in at number three, we have the Sync. Uh, now, I was able to find 59 different varieties of flavors, uh, with most of them coming in at 6 to 24 milligrams. Uh, that's 6, 12, 18, and 24, with Space Jam having a 36 milligram option available. And Enjoy was kind of a, a one of the first curveballs here, which is 15, 25, and 45 milligrams. So that is definitely something that I would be interested in as far as a smoker is concerned. They really need a, a nice strong nicotine with a good strong throat hit and uh, it, when it comes to these low powered kind of pod systems you really need a lot of nicotine to give you the throat hit and satisfaction that you're looking for. Coming in at number two, we have the Jewel with five flavors available at a solid 50 milligrams of nicotine. That may seem like a lot, but they do use the salt-based nicotine, which is a little bit different than your traditional uh, style nicotine. And uh, with that, you get a fairly decent throat hit. With that, they have five flavors. They have their tobacco, mint, fruit, creme brulee, and the new one, which is mango. Um, 
So five flavors, pretty basic. Uh, with the starter kit, you actually get uh, one of each pod, which is kind of a nice thing. And uh, that leads us to our number one, which is the Von Earl. Uh, the Von Earl has 20 different flavors available, uh, pretty much the same 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, and 24, uh, which is pretty much the, the widest variety of nicotine strengths as far as uh, you know the traditional nicotine liquids goes. Uh, but other than that, the reason I wanted to choose this one as my number one pick is because of the actual uh, flavors themselves. The flavors that you can get for this are very diverse. I really like the options that are available. And this just doesn't appeal to one thing or the other. It doesn't just have the uh, standard tobacco or mint. They also have a whole slew of different, you know, kind of... Um, I guess you could call them premium e-liquids if you would like, but honestly, I just felt like the flavor availability for the Von Earl was definitely the best. So that about does it for the flavor and nicotine. Let's move on to our final category, which is the wild card. So the wild card is the feature or features that really make each of these individual devices stand out from each other and just make my life a whole heck of a lot easier. This is all kind of subjective and based on my experiences with these devices and basically just kind of how I feel about each individual one. So starting off with the number four, we have the sync with the three different battery sizes and the biggest pods. Now, I could definitely see why people would go after the sync just because it has the best features over all when it comes to these devices. It does have a fairly universal micro USB charger. Um, it does have the biggest battery life, depending on which model you choose, obviously, and the biggest pods, of course, depending on which model. And yeah, I could see the convenience features uh, working to your advantage. However, it does come with a price. This thing is absolutely massive in comparison to some of these other devices. I mean, it's night and day, uh, the difference between the, the sink and the jewel as far as size is concerned. Um, so yeah, it does definitely come come at a little bit of a cost as far as convenience is concerned. Uh, next up we have the refillable pods and best draw of the MyJet. Now, I kind of put this one towards the bottom of the list because uh, I actually like the refillable pods. I think nowadays um, with people coming out with salt-based nicotines and stuff like that, then I could definitely see some advantage to having a re refillable pod or pod meant for refilling. Uh, however, I feel like the average smoker is not gonna care or not gonna want that kind of device. Uh, as far as the best draw is concerned, yeah. Definitely the best mouth to lung hit uh, in all of these devices here. And there's really not even a whole heck of a lot of comparison. I could say without a doubt, the MyJet definitely has the best, tightest, perfect amount of airflow for a great mouth to lung draw. It's just, just right for me personally. Uh, and I think the average smoker will appreciate that as well. Uh, moving up to number two, we have the Von Earl, which is the most comfortable and the universal charging system. Now, um, two of the these devices actually use a micro USB for charging, which is the Von Earl and the Sync. However, um, I feel like the comfort of using the device is definitely important as well. Uh, the Von Earl is m probably the most uh, ergonomic as far as the uh, sleek kind of feel to it. I really love holding this thing. I can see myself using it for an extended period of time. Holding it like this, like a cigarette in between your fingers is very natural feeling. It's nice and slim and those nice rounded edges are super comfortable for extended use. And that brings us to number one, which is the Juul. Um, this is kind of what I was talking about when it came to the nicotine variety here. They use nicotine salt in their e-liquid, um, which is definitely a really good thing. I can get a nice strong throat hit without being too harsh, you know? You, you can get throat hit without being too harsh in, in certain senses. It's hard to describe. You kind of just have to experience it for yourself. But um, in all the other pod systems, I use about 12 milligrams of nicotine. With the Juul, I'm up at 50 and I don't really feel the difference as far as the throat hit is concerned, but I do feel the difference as far as the nicotine is concerned. I get a really good nicotine buzz if I chain vape that Juul, probably 10 or so puffs, and I am good. I am really good to go with nicotine, um, but that is definitely something that is the most unique and most original out of the Juul. And uh, the other thing I really like about it is this right here. The double tap feature that shows your battery life. I absolutely love that. I really wish all of these systems had that or at least some better form of battery indication. Uh, there's not a whole heck of a lot going on when it comes to the LEDs and the other devices and that is just something that really, really stands out for the Juul. 
So real quick, before I get into my overall rating for these devices, I wanna talk about price. So obviously you guys wanna know how much these devices cost, how much it's gonna to cost to maintain, and uh, I'm just going by the numbers here. So coming in at the number four slot, we've got the Jewel. It's $49.99 for the device itself, but it does come with a starter pack of pods, which is their four main flavors, mint, fruit, tobacco, and creme brulee. Uh, you can also sign up for their auto shipping program, which basically you pick out uh, whatever flavor pods you want and they will automatically ship them to your door every month and send you the bill. Uh, with that, you get 15% off, which is kind of nice. Um, however, the packs of pods are gonna cost you $15.99 a piece for a four pack. Um, next up, we've got the MyJet. Uh, it's $29.99 for the Express Kit, and the refill packs, are packs of five, are $19.99, which isn't too bad, but you have to also remember the fact that they don't come pre-filled. You have to fill them with your own e-liquid so that is $19.99 just for the pods themselves uh, not including any juice uh, next up, number two, we've got the Von Earl. It's $29.99, and uh, two packs of pods are going to set you back between $8.99 and $10.99. I've seen $8.99, $9.99, and $10.99 for different pods, depending on the brand and flavor and all that good stuff. And number one, the cheapest out of all of them, is the Sync. You can get a starter pack, uh, including one singular pod, for $19.99 online, which is really not bad. And then the pods themselves are $10.99 for a two pack. So um, the pod upkeep is a little bit much, but you also have to factor in the fact that you get twice as much juice in the two and a half mil pods, etc, etc. So there's a lot of things to consider there, but I still think the overall cost is going to be uh, the sink uh, hands down. So there's that. Let's move on to my final category, which is my overall feelings about these devices. So after months and months of comparing and contrasting these devices and coming up with what I love and what I hate about each and every one, I'm finally able to put them in a list of my least favorite to my favorite. And we're going to start it off with number four, the sink. I hate to say this, but the sink is big, it's ugly, it's heavy, and it's really uncomfortable to hold. Not to mention the fact that uh, it spits juice in your mouth and the draw is so loose on this thing, I can't even get a decent mouth to lung pull. Um, with that, I would not recommend this to a smoker. However, I would recommend this to a current vapor that's looking for a nice pocket-friendly, stealthy little setup. I definitely think that would be a good addition uh, to anyone's kit out there that's looking for something really ultra sleek and portable. So don't really, uh, you know, disregard the sink altogether if you are a current vapor. Uh, next up, we have number three, which is the MyJet. Again, I hate to put this one so far down the list, but it does have a few detracting factors as far as a smoker's point of view. They are not going to want something that doesn't have a pre-filled pod. Now, um, if my jet uh, or if my vapors and Wismet come out with pre-filled pods, if they can work together with a few different companies or something and come out with pre-filled cartridges that aren't the ones that come with the ultimate kit, because as far as I know, that's the only place you can get them. Um, that would be a totally different story. And I would definitely change my mind about the my, my jet because I really love the draw on this thing. Definitely the best overall mouth to lung draw hands down. But other than that, I had to drop it down on the list just because the inconvenience of actually having to fill up your own pods. Next up, we have the Von Earl. Um, the Von Earl is in number two because I like using this one almost as much as I like using the number one, uh, which is, of course, the Jewel. Um, but yeah, this thing, there's there's just not a lot wrong with it, but there's not a lot that I love about it. And that's kind of why I had to put it in number two. I really love the flavor variety that you can get for this thing. Um, and there's some really awesome companies working with uh, Von Earl to come up with their cartridges, which is great. It's fairly cheap. It's fairly accessible. And yeah, just I don't have enough wrong to say about this device to uh, not put it in the number two spot. And uh, on the top of the list, we've got my favorite, which is the Jewel. Now, you may be wondering why the Jewel is not my number one when it lost in a few other categories. It is the most pricey one out of all of them. And I just, I love this thing. This thing is super slim and portable. It is just the right, you know, size for, you know, anyone out there. They can easily just slip it in their pocket. I love the nicotine strength. The 50 milligrams of nicotine, as I said, is still really nice and smooth, but gives you that that 
strong satisfaction like you're smoking. And I just feel like overall this one is going to be the best for current smokers. I feel like this is going to help people quit cigarettes. It's going to have them put down the stinkies and pick up a jewel. I really do think that's a great thing. Plus, I really like their uh, auto shipping kind of service that they offer on their website, which is great because uh, it might be hard to find jewel pods. And I know for a fact that if I'm out of juice, I am freaking out, but I can always rely on the fact that a uh, case of jewel pods is on my way to, or on its way to my door uh, once a month, which is definitely a great service to have. I really wish everyone did that. I w wish all of the pod systems uh, would have that sort of option, but um, I think that's a good thinking on their part when it comes to uh, that service. Definitely the overall winner in my book goes to the Jewel. Uh, gotta love this thing. So that's it. It's all over. The pod showdown is final and it's in the books. We can put that one to rest. Uh, however, I will be taking a look at more pod systems that are coming out almost on a daily basis and we might actually have to revisit this one in the future. But that about does it for this episode of Versus. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Of course, leave me comments in the box below about anything that you want to discuss and if you have any thoughts about these devices. Uh, of course, check out the links that I have in the description. That's where you're going to find uh, links to these products as well as advocacy and my social media. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And as always, vape on.